What's up, YouTube? Big B here with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for riding with me. Today we got a Delta Force 35 back on the block. Gonna be doing a performance upgrade. Gonna be installing some trim tabs on the transom. Uh, this should get us up out of the water quicker. Get us up on plane faster. Give us a better top end and keep the bow down on the boat. A lot more adjustability. Uh, when you have a set of trim tabs. So we're going to do kind of a highlighted install today. Then we're going to take this boat down to the lake and do some prop popping. Stick around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Big B with Ironclad RC. So these are the trim tabs we're using. These are uh, Amazon. I got them from Amazon. I'm pretty sure they're Hobby Park trim tabs. A generic trim tab. But 40 millimeters by 30 millimeters. Uh, they should be big enough for this boat. They're a little on the small side, but this should work. This should work. Uh, also got this new Pro Boat propeller we're going to try out. It's a 1.7 pitch by 1.6. 316 shaft uh, yeah this should give us a lot more top end most of my propellers are 1.4 pitch that's 1.7 and we just got this pro boat propeller this is 1.6 pitch so uh, so yeah we're going to do a little bit of propeller swapping out when we're out prop pop, popping <laughs> yeah yeah, we're going to use the same method as we did before when we mounted up the trim tabs. We're going to use our adjustable ruler to find our drill mark, uh, get our marks, and then basically drill the holes and seal and, you know, you know, you know. Well, maybe you don't know. That's why you're watching this video. So, I guess I need to show you. So, I've got my holes marked, as you can see. You see the trim tab's not too low. It's not too high. You want it about a millimeter or two from the bottom of the boat, about like that. That way, it's not creating any drag in the water uh, when you're when you're running your boat. So I'm gonna get these holes drilled out. So I got this one side on. I was cutting it close too close <laughs> with the rudder here but I can get my Allen in here to to adjust it so it's good all right we're gonna do the other side <laughs> so yeah yeah we're out here on location uh this is the closest little river pond to my house it's getting late and i just wanted to come out and test out the new trim tabs i've got them set at neutral directly in line with the bottom of the boat and then we'll kind of gradually go down with them as we run the boat we have 8000 ovonics with the tp 4070 uh the 150 ose and i uh, got my recovery boat out and why don't you do a little crawling if i have enough time so <coughs> make sure our controls are working Yeah, she got her, her bow down, and I, and I pretty much got them neutral. Boat bashing. Prop popping. I'm going to go prop popping, baby. All right, 
so let's go down just a hair couple turns all right and maybe two turns on this one all right let's see how much that takes to bow down she wasn't porpoising just now but I, w I didn't really have it opened up either Oh yeah, she's stuck in the water now, son. See the bow? Oh yeah, that's gonna be part. Oh, this is what this is what this boat needed. It really is. It really is. Ain't a whole lot of room here, y'all. I apologize. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That is pretty. That really opened it up. It's sticking to the water. It's not porpoising at all. guys were right it did need trim tabs I like to try to reuse my tape if I can <laughs> I dry it off pretty good and especially if I'm checking temps and stuff this is a new propeller so we definitely need to check our temperatures anytime you put a new propeller on let's see how much we can get the bow of the boat to go down just just being curious you know so that one's maxed out. That one's maxed out. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Just, uh, just testing, tinkering, testing, and tuning. That's what my channel's all about. Oh yeah! Wow. So, so we just went down, uh, all the way down as far as it would go. Yeah, it's got the bow way, way down there. See how she's like bowed down completely. Too much wetted area. All right, so let's uh, let's go back up with it. Now let's go all the way to a, another extreme. All right, so that's basically up, up as far as it'll go. And you can put like your right your right trim tab down, and your left trim tab looking at the boat like this, and your left trim tab up a little bit, and that will. <clears throat> That will actually take care of some of the the torque, you know, a uh, prop roll, torque roll. When the boat <coughs> when the boat takes off, she wants to spin with a big prop on it. She wants to spin like uh, to the right most of the time. So you can actually put, see how it's up out of the water now, less wet, less wet, sweated surface. See how she wants to bounce now? So way less, way less wetted area. So let's try to find its happy medium. That's a little bit too high up. That was the highest extreme. And we had the lowest extreme so let's try it just like maybe one or two degrees uh you know down 
with the trim tab. One or two degrees lower than the bottom of the boat. Oh yeah, it's sticking now. That's it, that is it. It just needed a little bit, just a little. I mean, it just needed a little bit of down trim. Literally, like a couple of, couple of degrees down. Oh man, that thing's a beast. Yeah. So I actually, I'm actually gonna go down. I'm gonna go down a little bit more on this, uh, on the right side. It's left side now, but looking at it from the back. I'm gonna go down a little bit with the uh, right side so we can take care of some of that torque torque roll all right so that's down maybe four degrees lower you know all right. yeah see i just gassed it normally it would torque roll and then go see she didn't roll so that's with the right side down and the left side up just a hair. Yes. Yeah, that's what it was. Need a trim tab. All right, I'm going to put a different propeller on. There ain't enough room for this propeller. There's not enough room for this prop. So we got a real torquey propeller on here now. So we're going to keep this trim tab down low and then this one up a little bit. So I want to show you what I'm talking about with that torque roll and how you can kind of alleviate some of that. See, normally... See, normally this boat would just about torqued over. gas it like that Jesus fucking this is my prop right here mm, 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 my favorite one God almighty no see and I just gassed it and she didn't and she didn't t torque roll real bad so try to remember that if you you want trying to stop the torque rolling whichever side it's rolling on if it's rolling to the right put that trim tab lower than the other side just about jumped out of the water Definitely like it better with this trim tabs. Any performance boat should have trim tabs. I got a new fly color 150 for this boat. In case this one messes up, we'll have something, a backup. This ESC that's in the boat, this offshore electrics, is really a rebranded fly color esc but it has a cap pack on it so if you get a fly color esc and put a little cap pack on it you, you got something beast i love the way this boat sounds 
Hey, the carbon fiber. I, I got this carbon fiber sticker, roll of vinyl at uh, AutoZone. But it, uh, I cut it out for the boat. It looks cool on there, and it's sticking. I was wondering if it would stay on or come off, but uh, it looks cool. Looks pretty cool. Been running it with that, the right trim tab all the way down. So let's go back up with it a couple turns so it's the same as this side. Alright, so that should be about the same. Yeah, guys, let me know what you if you guys like me running the boats like this, like videos like this. Uh, you know, because uh, I don't get a lot of views of just running my boats. If you guys like the um, like mechanical part of, aspect of it, like installations, you know, uh, you know, working on things DIYs, let me know. Or, or do you like me out here running stuff? Just kind of let me know what you like, and I'll try to. I hate, I don't really want to make videos if you if you guys don't like them. Yeah, see, she has a lot more torque roll, a lot more torque roll with that trim tab, the same as the both sides. Those turn fins. It's probably, I mean, I like the trim tabs and they are really working. Those turn fins is probably the best, the best install I've done on this boat here recently. They really tame down that skipping, you know, it, it lets the boat grab the water in the turn instead of skipping across it. I'm making it do that now because <laughs> it's tight, you know. Boat bashing, prop popping. <laughs> I like prop popping. That's kind of cool, cool sounding, huh? Prop popping. I'm gonna go prop popping, baby. <laughs> Things bad. So yeah, you guys, thank you all for joining me on this Tinker Test and Tune Run. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Like I said, let me know what you guys like to watch and don't like to watch. I don't want to make videos if you guys don't like to watch them. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the trim tabs worked out excellent. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Uh, we'll see you next time. Big B with Ironclad RC. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Big B with Ironclad RC.